talk to you, friend. It's about Matt. I am so confused. I mean, he's funny. He's smart. He's charming. Even when I'm furious with him, he can make me laugh. But sometimes he can be such an overgrown kid, you know? I mean, he doesn't understand what it's, what it's like to be pre-med and work two jobs. He doesn't even worry about the future the way I do. Oh, maybe he's right. Maybe I worry too much. But I don't think he worries enough. Whitley, you're with someone who's completely different. How do you do it? Why am I asking? I've seen you two. He drives you crazy, and you certainly drive him crazy. And yet... You both make it work. I guess, um... <laughs> that's because you don't try to change him. And he knows he can't change you. <laughs> you know something? You got the right idea. Oh, Whitley, thank you. I feel so much better. <laughs> you know, we should really talk like this more often. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Whitley! It's three o'clock! <laughs> hey, hey, baby, didn't you hear what I said? You can talk now. Come on, Whitley, I hate to admit this myself, but I'm starting to miss the soft caress of your sweet voice. Fine, 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 fine. Come on, baby, kick it to me one time, please. Fine, fine. Why? I'll never speak unless I have something to say. Do tell. We can discuss this further tomorrow over breakfast. That you will be serving me. Please. I like the strong, silent type. 